The updates are coming thick and fast for Steam Deck, so we have another Steam Deck news update for you. Part of the news today, not only have we got a new client update, but we have a brand new feature for opt-in feedback. To give you a quick overview of this, once you've played a game for a little while, it's going to now ask you if you want to opt into occasional feedback. So you've got yes or no, as well as a learn more option here. So part of this will mean that you're going to be verifying the verification system, which sounds a little bit odd, but essentially once you've been playing a game for a little while, it's going to ask if the verified status matches your play experience. So if it was verified, does this match your experience? Or you can just choose to ignore it and move on. Can you believe that the Steam Deck's already been out a month and this channel has only been around for two weeks? So thank you all for your support so far and on to the rest of the news. So this one is more for people that without a Steam Deck right now, but they've now added an alert to Steam letting you know that your reservation is ready to be ordered. So if you are playing games or just on your PC, you will now get that notification so you don't have to keep refreshing your email. They've also added support for advanced filters and dynamic collection in the library. They've added view in library or store for event items when achievements are earned. They've updated the layout and navigation for the community pages to fully support gamepad navigation so you don't have to now switch to your controls for mouse movement. They've updated the text on the download page to actually differentiate between downloads for patches and the initial game download. More translation fixes and they've updated the controller configurator navigation which you can see here on screen. And they fixed an issue with the keyboard theme not updating properly when equipped directly from the point shop. There's a few other fixes here which I'll just run through pretty quickly where they've got the skip shaders button not working is now fixed. Some focus issues using L1 and R1 on tab rows and some stalls on resume and also long loading times for those with thousands and thousands of games in their library. As always, if there's something that's annoying you, let us know in the comments below. That's about it for this client update, and we will keep you up to date with the news as it comes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.